Hey, this is Dr. Corey Glenn, and I'm going to do a quick video just showing how I would uh, do some post modification on this guide uh, to be able to print it without supports. Now, if I look at this, I would love to be able to print this guide in this orientation, but if I do that, you're going to see that as the printer builds up from the bottom here, it's going to encounter little edges like this and right here where that is going to be unsupported. And so without adding some extensions there, uh, we're going to have to use supports. However, if I were to print it more in this manner vertically and have this building up from the bottom, you're not really going to encounter anything uh, that has an abrupt overhang. Yes, this is technically overhanging, but it's at such a uh, shallow angle that this printer will be able to build that with no problem. So what I want to do is more or less create a pedestal base on this corner to let the printer orient this base onto that side. So I'm using the select tool and I'm going to come in and just select a broad swath of this. Make sure that doesn't go into the interior. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to push T for transform. Pull this down. This is now my pedestal. And I can change the angle to make it print at whatever um, angle we think is best. I'm going to look at it from the buckle here as well. And I like that. So let's accept it. And now it's necessary to put a plane cut on this so that there's a flat spot to orient onto the base. And so I'm going to go into plane cut in the edit menu, select it, and I'm going to make that cut right across here. Now generally the first few millimeters of a print is going to be the least accurate anyway, so it's kind of nice that the first few millimeters of this print are just going to be this pedestal base, which I intend to knock off anyway. Okay, that looks great. This is now ready for printing, so I need to export it and save the modifications that were done on it. And now I can minimize Mesh Mixer and just open this in the 3D printing software. So this is the Rayware software from Moonray. Uh, I'm gonna add this model. There you can see it on the printer bed. And now I need to, well, let's first center it in the platform. And then let's also select the base. So the base for this print is going to be right there. And now, as you can see, hopefully, if we print this in the uh, manner shown right here, I don't think, with the exception of possibly a little piece right in here, which I'm really not going to be too worried about if that misprints, Everything else looks well supported, and even that I think is going to print without any problem. So we can at this point go ahead and start the print. I'm going to do 100 uh, micron resolution. It's going to take about four hours, and so we can start that print. Okay, this has just finished printing. It took about four hours, and so you can see here, if you look closely, this has no support material, and the big benefit of using this without support is that your cleanup is this easy. So it breaks off cleanly. There's nothing left on the build plate to actually have to clean off. Um, so much, much simpler in that regard. And you can still see if you zoom in close here, this is a really clean print. The inside looks perfectly um, detailed like it should. So just a much uh, easier overall way of printing this.